This was totally unexpected, but A, this bag fitted more than I anticipated and B, is actually a joy to use. This might be a contender for the best carry-on backpack 2023. This is the Ground Truth Riker 38 liter hybrid duffel backpack. And I will be real with you. When I first unpacked this bag, I wasn't too keen on the look. Furthermore, I thought this is never a 38 liter backpack. This actually looks like a 20 liter EDC backpack. But I was totally mistaken. I went on a three night short vacation to Berlin with my wife and our dog Woody and I challenged myself just to travel with one bag. And as mentioned in the beginning, I was underestimating this bag because it looked small when I unpacked it from the box. But when I packed the bag, I was surprised and impressed how easy this bag was to pack and unpack due to its clamshell style opening. But more importantly, how much I was able to fit inside. As you can see, I packed clothing for four days inside two packing cubes, one from Aikido and one from Wakes. By the way, I will list most of the items in the description below. If you use one of those affiliate links, you won't pay more, but you will support the channel with a small kickback of that sale. Then I packed the Trake folding pouch with my extended EDC that includes my phone charger, cables and other small essentials. A dop kit from Slicks. This is a cool dop kit, but I actually want to switch to a different one in the future. Please let me know in the comments below what kind of dop kit are you using. Then I packed the able carry pouch with band-aids, eye drops and stuff that I might need at a moment's notice. An HDMI cable and another USB-C cable because now I use the Samsung Fold 5 that has the so-called DAX mode. With that mode your phone basically transforms into a little computer with a desktop once you attach a monitor. I use this HDMI cable to attach it to the Fold 5 and then play Disney Plus, Netflix or Prime on the hotel's TV screen. I also packed a rain jacket into the bag because it was raining 50% of the time in Berlin. Bottom line, I was never expecting that all of these items would fit into the bag. And as a matter of fact, I probably would have been able to fit a little bit more inside. I believe this is due to the clamshell opening, but more importantly to the rather flexible fabric that is, and I quote, bespoke GT PC RK01 CO2 Tristop Ballistic 600D 100% recycled PET with eco water based coating embedded with captured CO2 emissions. Wow, that was a mouthful, and that is not even the only fabric that is used on this bag. The eco friendliness of the bag is great, but more importantly, this bag feels very durable and well made. The bag adapts very well to the contents inside and probably was quite compressed when I unpacked the bag the first time and that probably gave me the impression of a small bag. Moreover, with all of the items inside, the bag was very comfortable to carry around. You can transform the bag into a shoulder carry bag, but I honestly I don't like carrying bag in shoulder backpack messenger mode. I still think that the bag doesn't look that cool or interesting, but honestly, I do not care because the bag surprised me with its capacity while still being fairly compact. And more importantly, it is so easy to pack and unpack that it is a joy to use. This bag to me feels helpful and, yeah, I don't know how to better describe it, supportive when traveling. I really see this bag high in my contender list of best carry-on slash one bag travel bag of 2023. So if you're looking for an amazing carry-on backpack that fits a bunch of items, is easy to load, very well made out of environmentally friendly materials and you do not mind, uh, let's say, a little bit boring look and obviously that is very subjective, then I can highly recommend the Ground Truth Riker 38 liter. So, what is your carry-on bag of choice? Let me know in the comment section below. And like always, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you won't miss next videos. Also check out my Instagram, second channel and podcast at you know the bow. Stay safe and healthy everyone and I see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.